doorstep. <laughs> do summer, do summer. Which one is it this time? That German sausage dog from next door. <laughs> that splash hound. <laughs> Not splash hound, it's dash hound. Yeah, it's more like a splash hound. I've had to mop and storm that doorstep three times this morning. Oh. Now, look at you, sat sitting there with your, your shirt hanging out, your shirt lap. And look, it's showing all your belly button. Yeah. Don't you know that we've got a staying guest coming to stop? I'll say we do. <laughs> got my bedroom, Auntie. I've got to sleep in attic on an inflatable rubber mattress. If I don't get to sleep in the first five minutes, I won't get to sleep at all. Why? It's got a bloody slow puncture. <laughs> That'll be him now. Hey, the soon, aren't they? It's only quarter to... Oh, I must get a little ham foot on this watch. <laughs> get yourself going, you know, shake yourself while I go and let him in. You've cleaned the place three times already. What do you want me to do, blank coat cat? Put that good straight. It's been flying down the wall instead of up it. So would you if you spent the last 15 years looking up another goose's backside? <laughs> it's caught me in my dirt. Still, I look fairly receptacle. <laughs> Well, if it isn't, it is. Oh, fancy. Uncle Charlie. Uh, how do, Nelly? Go, oh, I haven't seen you since you buried your dad. No. Hey, that were a good night, weren't it? I've had many a laugh over that. <laughs> well, you have to, haven't you? Uh, you won't have seen my little lad for a bit, will you? No. Come in, Nigel. <laughs> oh, little Nigel. Give your Aunt Nelly a kiss. <laughs> kiss your Auntie Nelly when you're bloody told. <laughs> Bonnie. It only seems yesterday when I was nursing you and, and changing your nappy. Aye, well, uh, <laughs> I'm off then, Nigel. Behave yourself. Yeah. Keep an eye on him, won't you, see he comes to no harm. <laughs> Ethel and me be back on Monday. Uh, yeah. Dad, are you... Hey, what's up well, now? You know, oh, I, I, I was saying in the car he wants to, you know, wash his hands. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, then you can wash him up in your bedroom. I'll put your bowl on the chest of drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to splash the wallpaper. <laughs> Hey, I don't know. Fancy our Nelly keeping these things all this year. Oh, Nelly Fledge. What is a mum? A mum is a... Ooh, I could smother him. Eli, where are you? What are you doing? Playing with my tummy off. <laughs> Come out of that chest. Come out of there. Those toys are for little Nigel to play with, not you, your big girl's blouse. Ah, yeah. This takes you back a bit, doesn't it? Remember when I used to go hunting next door's tomcat out slag heaps with this? We used to call them the Black Hills of Dakota. Uh, <laughs> they used to call me Big Chief Running Water. <laughs> Big Chief Great Water, more like. <laughs> Remember how you used to make the girls be your squawks? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they used to love it when I used to tie them to the lamp post with their own skipping ropes. Ah, then you took them into your wigwam and tickled them with your feather. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, it, it's a bit wilted now, isn't it, <laughs> my feather? <laughs> Well, we won't have any of that with our Nigel because he's being brought up proper. He's a credit to his dad. Ah, well, just think on. Our Charlie's one of our best customers now. Might be something in it for you and me if we treat that snotty-nosed kid of his right. He is not a snotty-nosed kid. He is an epitaph of innocence. <laughs> an epitome. Oh, epitome. <laughs> anyway, he's, uh, he reminds me of that little lad in The Sound of Music, you know, what had those beautiful songs sung to him by that lovely girl who worked at the nunnery. Ah, uh, what's her name? Eamon Andrews. <laughs> Julie Andrews. Ah, that's him. <laughs> I miss you too, Brenda Love. Well, it's not my fault if I've been stuck in this dump for a week. Hey, do you know what she's given me to read in bed tonight? Noddy's Big Adventure, and she's even censored some of that. Hey, you, Nigel. Uh, look, I'll see you as soon as I can, love. Bye. Come in, Aunt Nelly. Oh, there you are, love. Let's have a look at your hands. Oh, that's a good boy. Now, we want you to be very happy here. Meet your Uncle Eli. Where'd he get his hair cut? In a pet shop. <laughs> now, look, I've told you, it's just you enjoy yourself here, you know, and we're going to have a little party for you tomorrow night, and you can bring all your little friends, and your Uncle Eli will do his famous impersonations, won't you, Uncle Eli? Well, I always like. <laughs> Big night down at Spread Eagle. I've been picked for Domino's team. Got a good team down there, you know. Only trouble is, Captain's only got one arm. He has to knock with his head. <laughs> we, this is a big night here, too, and all, and you're going to stop here and share it. We're going to have lovely twinkling fairy lights and lots of jellies and blamanges and little gingerbread men. Oh, I can hear those children's laughter now. Shut up. <laughs> knock, knock. 
Who's that? Arthur. Arthur who? Arthur loaves better than none. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Oh, yeah. I did it wrong then. Yeah. I'll do another one then. Do another one, another yes. one. No, no. Who's that? Abraham. Abraham who? Abraham tired. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, knock, knock. Who's there? Two fellas in white coats. They're coming to take you away. They're coming to take you away. Ha -ha. You're too sophisticated altogether. You don't know how to enjoy yourself. Oh. We're going to have uh, pass the parcel. Pass the what? Pass the parcel. Oh, great. And you're going to uh, look after the music. Now, what would you like? Would you like Golden Days or would you like the bum of the flackle be? I mean, the flackle. <laughs> the bum. The flackle. Oh, put it on. Put it on. Are we ready? Go! <laughs> No, 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 Brenda, Brenda. When the music stops, you're supposed to strip something off. <laughs> Who's that? Probably a bloody rain. <laughs> I'll go and see who it is. I'll, I'll see if I can get there. <laughs> That's like a game in itself, isn't it? Now then, carry on with the game. And don't forget, the, the one who strips everything off first gets a prize. <laughs> <laughs> Walter. Oh, you do look nice, Walter. Is that his new suit? I thought his other suit were a bit tight underneath the armpits. <laughs> this were rubbing him a bit at first. And Walt and the tailor put a zipper where Walter likes buttons. Oh. Have you ever tried press studs? <laughs> Who was it then? Oh, bloody hell, the untouchables. <laughs> on with all his little friends. Well, they're a bit shy up to now, you know. Well, we'd best get into the park. Oh, before we go in, has he been? Have you been, Walter? I think he's been. Best get into the party. You can do with some new blood. So good Walter might look of it. Oh, they'll just be all sat sitting there waiting for us, you know, twiggling their thumbs. <laughs> In What's the, the matter? What's the matter? In the... Oh, it's like Sodom and tomorrow. <laughs> By hell, Nelly, you're right, but it's not the thumbs they're twiddling. What did they do in there? You know. No, what? You know. No, what are they doing? It's not what they're doing, but if they keep on doing what they're doing, it's what they're going to do when they're doing it. <laughs> Walter, get in there and stop. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Don't send Steve McQueen in there. They'll have him. This is no laughing matter, you know. That's an innocent boy in there, and we've got to protect him. He'll be all right. All right? His dad thinks he's just sitting sat quiet with us, playing Ludo. And what's he doing? He's in there. At it. <laughs> At what? It. It. And we've got to stop it. That boy's here with us for another couple of days, and well, we've got to keep his mind off it. What do you suggest we do? Anchor him to Walter for 48 hours? <laughs> I'm going to save that boy. I'm going to set him on the road to righteousness. He must climb every mountain, ford every stream. No good, well, it's not working. No, no. I'll tell you what to do. Sing him a couple of choruses of the folks who live on the pill. <laughs> I didn't know they had a statue of Lillian Walter here. <laughs> now then, Nigel, just look at the beautiful colouring in that painting, you see. The lady with the lute. Look at that beautiful profile. The painter's got every thought into her face. I don't know where her lute is, but <laughs> she's looking at her music and wondering what to play next. The painter has got the full effluvia of the moment. <laughs> That painting, to me, is full of emulsion. Thank you, Sir Mortimer Wheeler. Well, he gone? He got fed up with that, didn't he? Hell's bells and alley traipsing about an art museum all day. They get more people in here if they laid on some booze. Well, we've got to keep his mind off it. I mean, uh, 
full of it, you know. I mean, what do you suggest? Well, that's very difficult, isn't it? I mean, early closing day in a dump like this. Besides, it's raining. I know, let's take him to pictures. Oh, that'd be a treat for him. What's on? Well, let's have a look now. Sell, though, there's a double feature. Invitation to an orgy and kinky love in the hot climate. Oh, it can't be good to see that there. Because that's why we're here, isn't it? Right. Because to keep... Yes, yes. Well, what's on at the uh, Electrosium? Well, it's Pinocchio... Good. ...meets Fanny Hill. <laughs> that's enough of that. You just stop it off. You sex son nymph of a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, <laughs> I was just discussing with your Uncle Eli how to keep your mind off it. I mean, uh, where, where to take you next. You mean there's more? Oh, yes. Well, we've had a lovely day, haven't we, up to now? Oh, bloody marvellous. <laughs> Did you uh, enjoy that bus ride to the cemetery? Oh, it was very enjoyable, Auntie Nelly. Oh, Watching God. Uncle Eli in all that thick fog, tidying up your father's grave. I wouldn't demand it. When I got all weeds off, I found it at the wrong grave. Well, we no need to put all those weeds back, you know, because Bertha M. Thorpe was a friend of the family. Let me see. What's next now? Number 43. Hail Smiling Morn. Oil on Canvas by Sir Richard Adam Said Scottwood of the Royal Academy. Painted in his 85th year. <laughs> Some of them have got nothing on at all? No, nothing. Some of them have not even got their hands folded in front of them. <laughs> it's awful what you see hanging in those guys. That's so all they say. Mm, I don't know. No. Just a 65 bus you get, isn't it, to the art? <laughs> it's next to the library, isn't it? What do you want to know for? Oh, no, no, I just uh, wanted to borrow a book out for Walter. He doesn't trust the travelling library since it drove off with him in it. <laughs> I'm not surprised, either. I couldn't turn a long walk back in your carpet slippers. <laughs> they are all paintings, are they? Oh, no, no, some of them sculpturings. Oh. And are they? You know. Oh, worse than that. <laughs> One of them was a fowler. <laughs> really? Yes, and when those sculptures start sculpturing, some of them don't know when to stop chiselling. I suppose you'd call him one of them Greek gods. Well, I don't know if he were Greek, but he were a big lad. <laughs> And he didn't have so much as a fig leaf? No, no, but he has now. <laughs> I covered well, him up with my catalogue. <laughs> well, where our Nigel's got to, he's not in yet. Hey, where is he? It's a long time. Yes, that's it, isn't it? That's it. That's what we want to know. I see, you see, I've, we don't know, do we, you see? I've sent our Eli and Stan out to find him, haven't I? Hey, I remember I came home this late once. Mm -hmm. Of course, I was a lot older than Nigel. Hmm. It was the night I got into trouble. Into trouble? Never knew. No, into bother with me dad. Oh. It was the night me and Walter got locked in park. Oh, I remember you telling me about that. He tried to jump over those spiky railings. <laughs> Put the wedding back six months, did that? Mm. <laughs> Bet it were painful as well. <laughs> Well, you were out, you know, when it happened. I remember I could see your father as plain as a pack staff stood standing there waiting for you in Market Street. Walking towards me, taking his belt off. Yeah, he'd have killed you if his pants hadn't fell down. <laughs> of course, he thought me and Walter had been, you know. Well, had you? No, we hadn't. Anyway, we didn't do things like that in them days, did we? I don't know. I don't know what other folks do. All I know is I didn't do them. I mean, in those days, I knew nothing from nothing. And I don't mind telling you that I knew nothing till I got married. Oh, well, I suppose you... Walter told you all he knew then, did he? No, he knew no, neither. <laughs> did he not? Didn't nobody tell him? Well, a fella at work tried to explain it to him. 
Oh, and he didn't sort of uh... <laughs> grasp it, eh? <laughs> Come on. Don't worry, Eli. <laughs> Young Nigel won't have come to no harm. Hey, he'll have got himself a bit of fluff. Hey, sure. <laughs> That's what I'm not afraid of. Yeah, it took me back tonight. To days when your dad sent me looking for you. You were supposed to be at night school and I caught you out back with vinegar beer, eh? <laughs> ah, vinegar beer. She was the first girl that ever kissed me, you know. Oh. I'll never forget that kiss. It was like putting your mouth inside a tram driver's glove. <laughs> eh, I bet she taught you a thing or two. Well, she was more experienced than me, much older like. Ah, she taught me never to close my eyes when you kiss anybody, oh. otherwise they might pinch your pension book. <laughs> In my time, nobody taught us out about sex. We us, it was all guesswork. We all had to go up in dark. If you want to learn something, you ought to go to that art museum. He, I nearly... Oh, I nearly was disgusted. Some of them paintings, you know. He, she nearly bust a liberty bodies. <laughs> Me and my Ada went to art gallery once. Oh, it made my Ada very sad. She cried. What for? It was this here picture, a Japanese lass... They were all in bear. Get off. Huh? It was called Adam and Eve in Garden of Eden. Well, why did your, your Ada cry? She said it reminded her of me and her in Stanley Park, Blackpool. <laughs> hey, tasting forbidden fruit. What were they, bloody crab apples? <laughs> no, we were only young then. It was right before I kissed her goodbye when I went to wait at First World War. And what's she waiting for you when you came back four years later? She were that. We a lovely little newborn baby. <laughs> kissed her goodbye? What the hell did you do, Stan? Put a bloody time fuse on it. <laughs> Never mind, Nelly love. Up me'll be all right with a bit of luck. Mm. Anyway, I must rush now or else I'll miss my last bus. <laughs> Bye-bye, love. I better... Our Nigel's missed the last bus and know what it is to be a mum. <laughs> well, here you stop. Been keeping them happy, have you? Keeping them telling a few... Bye, you little caution you are. Never mind that. Have you found him? Not a sausage. Well, what have you come home for? You said you wouldn't come home unless you found him. You said you'd leave no turn on stone. Oh, <laughs> stop getting your knickers in a twist. I'm not getting me twist in a nick. I'm... I'm, 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 I'm and collected. I mean, I'm just, uh, 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 you know, upset about it. He'll be all right, Nelly, love. Oh, what do you want to stop out like this for? How do you mean? Well, what's he doing stopping out like this? Nelly, he's a growing lad. Well, I mean, he doesn't know he's a growing lad. What do you mean? I mean, there must be things he doesn't know. Why, how? What do you mean? Well, I mean, our Lily's just told me in strict confidence, uh, Walter didn't know. Well, after looking at Walter, it happened he didn't want to know. Well, I think we should tell Nigel. What, us? Yeah, no, you. Me? I wouldn't know where to start. Well, just tell him what my dad told you. You're joking. I wouldn't tell anybody that. Well, I don't... What did my dad tell you? Yeah, like, about the facts of life? In one word, note. Note? No. I did say to him one day, I said, Dad, you know... Feel like I'm growing up and I'd like to know where I come from. And what did he say? He said, you know, I've been asking myself the same bloody question. <laughs> and how did, um, how did you get to know what you know? You well, know? about the facts of, well, I don't facts know. Facts of Like life. we all do, you know. I mean, well, some of us, a bit here, a bit there. <laughs> what, uh, what did my mum tell you? Nothing. Did you never ask her? I didn't like. I mean, and if I'd like, she wouldn't have liked. She, I remember her saying there was something she'd tell me when I was 21. <clears throat> what did she tell you when you were 21? Well, she said if I didn't know then, I never bloody would know. <laughs> Shh! He's here now. Oh, hello. You weren't waiting up for me, were you? Oh, no, of course we weren't. Were we, Uncle Eli? No, we like watching that little spot in telly, you know, in case it does something. Oh, well, uh... I'll say good night then. Uh, just a minute, Nigel, before you go off to bed. Your Uncle Eli and me would like to have a little conflagration with you. <laughs> Wouldn't we, Uncle Eli? Would we? Yes, we would. Oh. What about Aunt Nelly? Well, about um, 
Well, uh, how shall I put it? Uh, about uh, about the, 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 what shall I say? About uh, thingy. <laughs> What's thingy? I told you you wouldn't know. You tell him. Well, Nigel, thingy is. <laughs> what is thingy, Nelly? <laughs> Shut up, I'll tell him. Come over here, Nigel, a minute, will you, love? Sit yourself down. I just want to talk to you a minute. You see, <clears throat> now, uh, did, um, did your dad ever tell you anything about the opposite thingy? <laughs> she means the opposite sex. Don't use that word in front of him. <laughs> now, put it another way. Put it any way you like, but get on with it. Shut up, you know. No, uh, do you know about the birds and the bees? What about them? Well, the birds and the bees sort of get together and they flutter and buzz about and then they fly up into the mountain tops and swirl all around and then they swoop down together and they come down on the grass and they lie down and sing it. Oh, bloody Nora. Why don't you come straight out with it? All right, clever clogs, if you know all about it, you tell him. Now, son, Nigel, now that your Auntie Nelly's left us alone, we can talk this thing out man to man. I mean, we don't want to go all around the houses about this birds and the bees nonsense, do we? I mean, you're a clever, sophisticated young man, I think. <laughs> now, uh, what... I can say can be summed up in two words. And when I said those two words, I don't want you to mention them outside this room again. <laughs> Gooseberry bush. <laughs> I've poured your tea. <laughs> well, you made a right pig's ear out of that, didn't you? Well, it was very difficult. I mean, it was most embarrassing. Trying to tell somebody something you didn't know anything about? Oh, you were all right, weren't you? All that business about the birds and the bees and the flowers. He's not interested how bloody daffodil, daffodil does it, you know. Well, what did you tell him about the facts of life? I told him two facts. Fact one, stop messing his Auntie Nelly about and me about. Stop going out with birds and he'd get ten bob. Uh, fact two, if he didn't, he'd get a bloody thick ear and that's a fact. Very difficult bringing children up these days, you know. I mean, there's temptation everywhere, especially for boys. Look at the girls these days. See-through blouses and see-up skirts. <laughs> Look them on the Isle of Wight, you know. Foam, all up in foam, that's what they were. Oh, knickers. No, no. Not even those, just foam. <laughs> Anyway, there's been no foul practice in this house while that boy's been here. And when he leaves this house, he'll leave it as he came. Virgo in tracto. <laughs> and that's our Charlie now. Anybody at home? Come in, Charlie. How do, Nelly? How do we, mate? Oh, well, uh, well, has he behaved himself? He's been a proper little belter. <laughs> Yeah, well, have you come to take him away? Uh, yes. Good. Uh, <laughs> I was just wondering whether you'd do me another little favour. You see, uh, Ethel and me have had a special invitation to the Workington Food Fair. You don't want us to keep him for another week? Oh, no, 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 Eli. He's coming with us. Oh. I uh, just wondered whether you'd look after my little girl for a few days. <laughs> Come in, Susan. <laughs> oh, God, I hope somebody's told her about things. <laughs> Thank you. 